Okay, so just gonna boot it up again for the first time after rooting it. Okay, so I don't want that. Okay, so as you can see, for me anyway, it takes a reboot for it to detect the change. So over here is the removable disk. So what we want to copy into the root of this drive is first of all we'll co copy the ROM uh, the Jelly Bean ROM there so that this is the latest one as of um, today which is the 21st of November 2012 um, the uh, that's the Google Apps that we went and downloaded and that's the um, recovery which is the which actually is the clockwork mod recovery so that we can then go and install those so to what we're going to do now so that's actually on the ROM now so copy it on the ROM so what I'll do is I'll go over to the phone and I will turn off USB storage so if I just go to none so it's on there so to install this um, recovery because it's an APK file, go into settings just to check um, applications. You've got to make sure that this is ticked, unknown sources. What we're going to have to do is go into the marketplace and install a, um, a file manager. So I'll be right back. I'm going to sign in. So I've just signed in to my um, using my Gmail. Um, what you'll see is the market, it's actually quite an old one, but just let it, it's going to log in, so go and download a um, file explorer, um, I usually, whoops, use ESX Explorer, okay, so I'm going to go and into ES File Explorer, get started so what we want to do is we want to basically just install this app done um, get out of here whoops and what you'll see is that um, it actually installs this and then if we run it <coughs> so that I just go click install and um, go allow so allow it's definitely been granted super user so okay see so the light the light was red before it went and now it's gone green and also it says second init menu currently installed so now that that's installed, what we're going to do is we we'll turn it off and we'll boot into um, recovery and you'll see that it's um, got uh, clockwork mod installed. Okay, so with uh, the second init install, it's, there's a different way of getting into recovery. So if we boot it up and you look at this light, So it's up. So what we're doing is we're looking for as soon as that light goes blue, um, and we pre we press the down button. 
there we go and that allows us to boot into this um, new boot menu recovery sorry so what we want to do is we want to go into recovery here and we want to go custom recovery okay so now we want to first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go wipe data factory reset and wipe cache this is optional um, do it before and after every time we install a new ROM Yeah, wiping the um, data takes a while because it's just installed a whole bunch of data. Okay, done. So I'm going to wipe the case partition as well. Okay, um, go over to advanced, wipe the, sorry, you can wipe the Dalvik cache, second one down, shouldn't take, so that's done, go back, and from here what we want to do is go down to install zip from SD card, and then uh, the very first one there says choose zip from SD, so select that one scroll down to the ROM click yes and uh, we wait Okay, so the ROM has installed, um, but before we go back, what we'll do is we'll go and install the Google Apps. Same process. Okay, so we're done. So now, time of truth. We'll go back. And 
the very first one is reboot system now. So what we'll do is let's reboot. Let's just unplug that. So this is the first boot. You'll notice the, the light changing at the top now. That's a good thing, because it, um, it, in default it doesn't do that. First boot. For, for me, first boot um, takes a while and it actually reboots once before it boots into the, um, the main program. I'm not too sure why, but it just does, so if it does it on yours too, don't be too alarmed. Yep, so that's the reboot. Not too sure on why but um, just let it boot up and this time around it should boot up to the um, all the way up Okay, so there we're done. First boot. So what I'll do is I'll go through first boot. I'm from Australia, obviously. First boot. Give it a bit of time to settle down. So just like any um, install, first boot of the ROM, give it a while, I know 10-15 minutes to settle down after you've set it up, um, and I usually just reboot it two or three times just to make sure, and um, you'll be running Jelly Bean nice and smooth. This bit usually takes a while.
Okay, so I'm just going to go no. Not now. Scroll down, scroll across. Um, I will change that to where am I? I'm in plus 10 Brisbane. Skip that for now. So I actually don't have a sim in there. I always remove my sim when I'm uh, updating a ROM or putting in a new ROM. So you'll see. A um, couple of things to do is the first thing is I will go in and show you the. Whoops. Go to settings. So with settings, settings, settings. Sorry. About phone, and there we have it. We are currently running. You can see that it says MB526, even though my phone is a green lens, which is actually an MB525. But Quark's um, latest ROM works on both, so you can see 4.1.2 um, build number, build date, and it's the um, 17th of November 2012 nightly ROM. So that's that. The only th one other thing to check um, before you go and start using it is if you go to advanced, you need to change the baseband because it defaults to Central Europe. Um, the first time I did it, I was wondering why it wasn't working very well. So if I go to Australia, and you can see there's different options, and I'm with Telstra, so if you go OK, and go reboot now next time it boots up it'll be set set up to use the sim from your country so there you have it um, we rooted we um, installed clockwork mod and we put a brand new jelly bean rom onto a pretty old uh, motorola defy now so i hope that helps and um, thanks for watching